In the hustle bustle of everyday life, ever think you can't create that perfect look? Hi, my name is Sabina Chatterhari and welcome to Young Living with Sabina. Today, we're going to be doing makeups and makeovers. Hi Giselle, thank you for coming out to the show today. I'd like to also introduce my model, uh, Sheena Chatterhari. Thank you as well for coming out. Thank you for having me, Sabina. No problem. Um, so, I'd like you to show us some tips and advice of how to have a neutral day look and make that into a night glam. Awesome, so this is gonna be cool because we're gonna start with the day look that's nice and soft and not too much and it will turn into a night look easily and it doesn't take a lot of effort either. So um, what's most important with makeup is uh, proper skincare. So you wanna make sure that you prime the skin, um, otherwise your makeup won't last all day and you'll end up having to reapply at the end of the day. So I like to take a large brush and I'm using um, a strobe liquid. Um, I'm using all MAC Cosmetics right now. Um, I prefer it because it definitely makes the um, makeup look a lot more lasting and it's also going to be um, not stage makeup but it's gonna stand out people will know what you're wearing yeah I definitely <laughs> love my makeup <laughs> yeah me too <laughs> so I'm just going all over the entire face and um, this strobe liquid is going to give the face a nice illumination. Um, so just like you see on Sabina, how she's glowing beautifully, <laughs> um, it's the same exact thing. So this is going to give everything that she's looking for. So that's the primer. And then next, I like to do a little bit of filling of the brow. Um, not anything too dramatic, just a little simple. So it's more complete. And I'm using a um, brush called Spiked and it's just a brown color and I'm just lightly filling in the brow. So while you're doing this, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, Giselle? So uh, I uh, own a makeup company called Bell Femme Artistry. It's a freelance makeup company and it is um, just traveling for um, weddings, photo shoots, uh, anything like that at all. Um, and that's what I do. <laughs> So what inspired you to get into makeup? Uh, mostly I've been inspired by um, old Hollywood. So I'm, I'm in love with uh, Marilyn Monroe <laughs> and Audrey Hepburn and just all those old Hollywood ladies because they're so glamorous and beautiful and that makeup is so amazing to me. So that's mostly why I got into makeup. So when did you start? Did you start at an early age or is it something that came to you later on? Honestly, it didn't start at an early age. I was a tomboy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how to do makeup. I wasn't into it. Um, I couldn't do eyeliner to save my life and then eventually I just started watching videos on YouTube and I taught myself how to do makeup and eventually I decided to start my own company because I like to be my own boss. <laughs> So that's the brow, it looks really natural, it's not too much, and you can do the same thing on the other side as well. It's going to be um, just a light flick of the uh, pencil, because if you go too hard it's going to break on you and it just looks a little too harsh. So I like to keep things really light for the daytime, especially if you're working in an office setting. You don't want to be too glammed up or <laughs> a red lip, because it's like, what is she wearing? <laughs> so you don't want to do that. It's like, is she here to work or go out? <laughs> exactly. So then next time I like to do a little bit of a uh, primer on the eye as well. Just like I mentioned, skincare is important. I'll be using um, an eye primer and just like I was mentioning before uh, with skincare, um, it's equally as important to put primer on the eyes for your shadow. It stops creasing and it also prevents it from fading on you at the end of the day. So when you are ready for that nighttime look, you don't have to reapply every single thing. Mm -hmm. So um, I just pack it on like that and then I take a nice blending brush and just like buff it out and it's going to be really nuded out. It's not going to be the actual color of the shadow. Okay, so do you have any like makeup artists or inspiration on a day-to-day -day basis that makes you do what you do or just appreciate the beauty of makeup? You know, for makeup in general, I just feel like when I deal with clients, I like them to just feel what's magnified best in them. So I don't try to change them yeah. or, <laughs> or make them seem something they're not. I like to enhance the beauty that they already have. So if they have amazing brows like our model here <laughs> or her beautiful lashes, I'm not gonna change that on her. I'm just gonna enhance it because I feel like makeup should be natural. And when it is time for nighttime, you can change that, but it shouldn't be forced. Yeah. So next I'm doing a crease color. 
And with eyeshadows, uh, you always want to make sure that you have a crease color, um, an outer corner color, and or something in the inner corner, just because you want to have that dynamic. You don't want to just have one color because it doesn't stand out. And we kind of want to stand out just a little bit, but not too much. <laughs> so just a little bit. And everyone's crease sits differently. So for open your eyes for me real quick. So for hers, it sits a little bit higher. So you just want to make sure that with her crease, you're sitting it a little bit higher. Otherwise, it will not show up when she opens her eyes and then it's pointless. <laughs> so I'm putting it up a little bit higher. And we're just using like a nice soft brown. So do you know how to do many different styles of makeup? And if so, what is your style or do you have your own personalized style? I have many styles. Um, <laughs> I, I cater it to whoever is getting the makeup done. So for instance, if I have someone that's asking for uh, a wedding and they want something that's not too dramatic, I do mostly soft glam, so just think old Hollywood like my obsessions. <laughs> so I just channel my inner Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> and I just, you know, keep things soft. Um, and then as far as like photo shoots, a lot of times I'll get people that ask for something more dramatic. So um, I like to use a lot more bold colors, like reds and things like that. Yeah. So you can see on this eye here, it's slowly coming together. And I'm just gonna literally bring that dark color all the way to the inner corner. And that's just gonna be it on her eye for a day look. Cause like I mentioned before, we don't want it to be too dramatic because this is for work. So we gotta be a little bit chill. I am going to just do a little bit of light foundation. This one tends to be a little bit more makeup looking and a little more heavier, mm -hmm. but if you apply just a little bit and not the entire face, it can be um, a soft look. It doesn't have to be too extreme. Okay. So I'm literally just gonna use everything that's on this brush. <laughs> I'm not even gonna use everything in the pan here because um, it'll look too makeup-y. So we're just gonna keep it really soft. And I like to nude out the lips too for that um, that lip gloss or lipstick to help it stay longer, mm -hmm. which is also cool. So when you go to lunch, you still look pretty when you come back. <laughs> so with this kind of neutral makeup, what fashion tips do you have? Um, I would suggest um, something that's just, you know, simple. Um, if you have like certain colors that stand out on your skin tone, mm -hmm. like for instance, with um, Sheena here, she looks really pretty in any like coral tones. And I know she's not wearing that right now, but <laughs> coral would look really pretty on her. And as well for you, just anyone that has like a nice like olive complexion, mm -hmm. that's a good color. Um, as well as just like, um, since summer is about to be honest, I think a lot of those soft pastels are good too. Oh, okay. So what has been your favorite makeup to do like look? Um, I would say when I get people for Halloween makeup, to be honest. <laughs> I like when people, uh, ask me, hey, can you make me look like Elsa from Frozen? Or can you make me look like a witch? Or things like that. I like uh, special effects type things. Yeah, That's also fun to do because daily I do glam, which I love, but it's fun to challenge yourself and see how far you can go with your makeup. Do you have any exciting stories of like Halloween makeup or? Yeah, I did um, a girl that was 17 and wanted to be a lion, and oh I wish I had a picture to show you, but it's she looked like a lion for sure, <laughs> and she had her hair in an afro, and it was just really cool. So I really enjoyed doing that makeup there. And um, also, I was gonna mention, when you're putting on the foundation, you wanna make sure that you're getting in every corner and also on the edge of the face here, because a lot of times, even if the foundation is correct color, it looks a little funny if you don't bring it down. So you just want it to be even throughout. So you can see how soft it looks. It's not, it's not heavy on her at all. This is super important if um, you tend to have any bags in the eyes or any darkness. This will definitely make the face look a lot more brighter. Especially after the sleepless nights and working on work projects all. <laughs> exactly. And especially for like college students, because I remember when I was in college I barely slept. So it's nice to have this on the face so it looks a lot more um, bright and you can see that she looks like super. We'll throw a little gloss on her and that's basically going to be like the day look. So like I said, really simple. You don't want to do too much blush either on a day look because that can be a little overwhelming. So I'm just doing it really lightly. 
and you can see how everything's coming together. It's literally not too much at all. She's not going to be walking down the street with like way too much going on. She can go from day to night easily with this. So I'm just going to throw some pink gloss on her real quickly. And this will keep it super simple as well. And it's just like a nice pink color. And it looks really neutral. I'm going to rub your lips together for me. And that's the day look. Giselle, how would you take this natural makeup look and turn it into something more glamorous? So what's going to be the fun part is we're going to do a little bit of pigment. There's so many different colors, but I chose a rosy tone because the lip that we're going to do is going to uh, basically reflect off of it. So like a nice burgundy color. Um, even though we're going into spring and summer, you can't go wrong with a burgundy lip. So that's okay too. It's kind of like red. So um, I'm going to take the same brush I used for her shadow and I'm going to spray it a little with uh, some Fix Plus or you can use water, but you just don't want to douse it in water. Um, and then I put some of the pigment in this dish already. And I'm just going to pat it on her eye, like down for me. So what's the difference between pigment and actual eyeshadow? So pigment, uh, just think of it like broken up eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. It's going to be more pigmented, hence the word pigment. Um, and it's going to be um, stand out a lot more. So it's definitely meant to be more of a, a bold look as opposed to a simple shadow. And so you can see how the shimmer is coming together. You definitely wouldn't want to wear that at work. As for outfit for going out, what would you recommend to go with this look? Um, I would say a lot of times when it comes to putting together an outfit, it really depends on where you're going. So if you're going to be somewhere that's more upscale, you can't go wrong with a little black dress. Mm -hmm. um, or you can always, you know, enhance what you feel most confident in. If you have, you know, really nice legs or, you know, you like your shoulders, things like that. You just don't want to do everything all at one time because my mom always told me never have everything all at one time because <laughs> that's not what ladies do. <laughs> so you always want to make sure that you pick one thing. To go out. <laughs> yeah, watch out world. Yeah, watch out. <laughs> well, thank you again for coming out and showing us the difference between night and day makeup. Um, our audience probably absolutely loves this because I know this is something that I definitely have trouble with. Um, and thank you again, Sheena, for being such an thank amazing you, model. Sabina. You can do it at home too, it's so simple. <laughs> yeah. yeah.